that's been given to you. If it's something that you never liked, I need you to change it. Never accept the life that's been given to you if you think that it'll never become who you were meant to be. You don't have to accept the life that's been given to you. So if you want to change it, you can actually change it. You don't have to accept the life that's been given to you when nobody wants to support you and they're not standing up and clapping or they're not hitting the share button or a like button or a heart or they're not motivating you to become better or they're not pushing you to become better. I'm telling you right now, you do not have to accept the life that's been given to you because I did. You're looking at a kid right now that I'm a published author. I don't know what a published author looked like to you, but I never accepted the life that was given to me. Why am I telling you that? Because listen to me, they counted me out and the people that counted me out, they couldn't count. So I'm telling you that you never have to accept the life that's been given to you. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a speaker, I'm an author, I'm an entrepreneur. And I did this with no blueprint. And I did this with straight will and determination because I understood that listen, in order for me to leave a legacy, there were some things that I had to change. There were some things that I needed to become. I had to cut out the excuses. So I'm telling you right now, in order for you to be successful in life, I need you to cut out the excuses. I need you to end it all. No matter what it may look like, I need you to stop it right now. Because if you continue to come up with excuses through life, you'll never get to the level that you need to. And you'll always stay in your comfort zone. It's a beautiful place, but nothing grows there. And you got to take advantage of the opportunity in this lifetime. Because if you never take advantage of the opportunity, you'll continue to make excuses. You'll continue to be who people always say that you will be. So I need you to block out the haters. I need you to block out the lies. I need you to block out the people that don't support you. I need you to block it all out, no matter what it may look like. Because understand this, God gave you the vision. He didn't give it to them. So when they don't see your vision, I need you to understand that, listen, he gave it to me. So I'm locked in and I'm focused, no matter what it may look like, no matter what you may say, no matter what type of opposition that come my way. I need you to understand this. Understand that no matter what it is, no what level or whatever level you may get to in life, understand your purpose and understand that he gave you the vision. So I need you to walk it out. Because we know if it was easy, everybody would do it. But it's not easy understanding your purpose. It's not easy walking out your purpose. It's not easy being successful. It's not easy being an entrepreneur. It's not easy being married. It's not easy being a father. It's not easy to be who you are meant to become. But you think that don't nobody understand what you're going through. Or you think that can't nobody feel your pain. But what do you do? Are you supposed to harp on it? Are you supposed to cry? Are you supposed to make excuses? No, you're supposed to sit right here and get down on your grind and stay locked in and stay focused no matter what it may look like, no matter what they may do, no matter what they may say. Because I'm telling you right now, it is me and you against the world no matter what we may face, no matter what comes our way, no matter what they say, no matter what they do. We can get it out the mud and we will become who we were meant to become because all we know is grind. All we know is is how to hustle. So it makes you appreciate it a little bit more. I get my motivation from my kids. I get my motivation from the people in the community. I get my motivation from the people that's going through pain and they quote the things that I say. Like those are the real trophies for me. I don't care about none of the money. I don't care about the accolades. I care about the impact. And they said that none of this would be possible. They said that none of this would happen because I wasn't from that side of the track. I wasn't from that. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoyed that snippet right there. And um, yeah, guys, that's what the refresh is going to bring to the world. I'm going to refresh the world. I love to empower people. I love to let people know that even though we're successful, we're still going through it, guys. We still 
we still have our days, you know what I mean? Out of 365 days out of the year, you know, we still have our days, and it's crazy. So I love to bring that positivity to the world. I love to impact others. And, um, you know, if you're on Clubhouse, please follow me on Clubhouse, guys, and, you know, join my join my pride, you know, because you guys are lying. If you're on this app, you're a true lion, you know, and um, lions travel in a pack. They, they live in a pride, right? So, yeah, guys, follow me on Clubhouse, you know, show that digital currency, show some love. I'm going to show some love back. Follow on Clubhouse and, um, you know, join my club, you know, and that's what it's all about, guys. We're glowing and growing together, right? So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. This next video I'm going to play, it's a good video as well, too, guys. And, uh, again, I hope you guys enjoying the show. This is Sean Jackson, the refresher. And, you know, as you see, I got my Clubhouse link. I have my IG link. I have a lot of of my social media handles linked here. So if you guys want to give me a follow, give me a follow. And uh, like I said, I definitely follow back. So give me a second here, guys. Let me uh, get this going. Hope you guys enjoying the show and um, enjoying the new app. You know, Wisdom is an app to really take advantage of if you're a coach. Because you get to do one on one sessions with your clients on Wisdom and you're able to promote your business. So, please, all my top mentors, take full advantage of that. If you have clients, bring your clients to Wisdom and have them do one on one sessions on Wisdom. So that way you build your network. Your network is your network, right? So let's continue to build, guys. Live to get one step closer. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, thank you guys for tuning in. And don't forget, guys, you know, let's go ahead and show that digital currency, guys. We all here to glow and grow and grow together. That's what it's all about is evolving as one, guys. So I'm here to show love and empower the world. So if you guys need a refresher, I'm here. You know, I've been on the app now for about four months. You know, I was one of the few lucky ones chosen to be on beta test mode with the app. So definitely loving how the app came out. It came up on fire. I see all my people from Clubhouse. It's on here too. So that's also phenomenal. And um, thank you to all the listeners that's tuning in. You know, Sarah, all you guys, thank you for tuning in. So hope you guys enjoy this next video. This is your turn. The time where you take you take chances. You push everything aside that's telling you no. You have the possibility to shape your identity, to construct and build your life into the power you can achieve. Nothing here is stopping your progress except yourself. You're the only thing that's holding you back. If you want to become successful in life, number one, you've got to change your mindset. He said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Develop your communication skills because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. I believe that all of us are born unique, but most of us die copies. You've got to find out what is it that turns you on, what resonates with you. Uh, one of the things that I realized that what allowed me to become successful as a speaker. That the speaking industry has been hijacked by people who speak to sell. And it's, it's okay to do that and make money. I speak to change lives because somebody spoke and changed my life. So this is my passion. This is my drive. This is something that I feel in my heart. And, and so the key to that hunger-driven life is a heart-centered life. I didn't do what I'm doing for years because of my... Thank you all who tuning in. We got Ali back in the building from Clubhouse. So guys, I gave some some gems out. You know, I told you, I told the, uh, told the world that we can use this app in so many ways, right? So you can bring your clients. If you have clients that you coach, clients that you call on Zoom, you can bring the clients here on Wisdom because it's a one-on-one session. And people who are listening and viewing 
in hearing you do your work with your client, that's how you build your network. You know, your network is your network. So, guys, that's the gym of the day right there. <laughs> Because of the culture in which I was raised in, I would see other people with, with degrees and PhDs and, and MBAs and credentials I don't have, and I convinced myself I couldn't do it. But Mr. Washington, on that day, we became friends, and, and he taught me not only someone's opinion of you does, does not have to determine your reality, he said that you have to work on yourself. Stoppable attitude, and no excuse is acceptable, and you got to, to make it a, a, a priority, a non negotiable in your life. The goal of a constant vision of what it is you want to achieve, see it accomplished, and go all out. Find a way to win in spite of the setbacks, in spite of the disappointments, in spite of your failures. I tell people when I'm giving presentations, you will fail your way to success. I have a saying that life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Never let a situation or circumstance define your life, no matter what it may be. And understanding that you got something inside of you that's greater than a situation or a circumstance, but you have to constantly believe it. And not only believe it, you have to make decisions and choices every single day to put you a step forward toward what you believe your destiny is. In life, it's a lot of moments and it's a lot of people that change and impact your life, right? Like, I don't believe it's just one moment you say, this one moment just changed my life. Even though that moment may have, but it's going to be another moment that's going to shape and change your life as well. Either somebody is in the midst of adversity or just came out of adversity or won't be knowing where they headed to adversity. So you need to be prepared either way. And so we all go through adversity opposition. I think that's the thing that, that makes us all in common as people, right? No matter if you're from London, Atlanta, Florida, California, New York, like we're all going to go through something at some point or phase in our life, right? And as cliche as it sounds, when the quote says, it's never about what happens to you, it's about how you respond to it. That's very true. Right, but in the same sense, I think what's most important is when we go through something, what's the perspective that we have? On it, right, because for most people, when you go through something, the person's natural perspective is okay, what did I lose? Right, what happened to me? Like, I took a loss, right? People never look at it and say, okay, man, tell me what did you gain? 